Pokemon's got some new games coming to Facebook. The 3DS isn't dead and it's getting new survival horror games. Wow! And Shigeru Miyamoto is finally getting recognized for the work he's put in. Thanks, Shiggy. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened here, but I think this was a surprise announcement. I haven't heard anything about this. I don't keep up with Pokemon news like that per se. I'm not on Cerebi every day going like, oh, what's coming on the pipeline? You know what I mean? Shout out to Cerebi.net. That used to be my shit back in the day. Oops, I cussed already. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this. If this was like a surprise out of nowhere or if this was like uh, something that's been in the works for a little bit. But I didn't hear about it, so I think it was a surprise. Uh, there are two new Pokemon games coming out on Facebook for some reason. We'll get into that uh, a little bit later about what the CEO said about Facebook and everything. But the games are Pokemon Tower Battle and Pokemon Medallion Battle. Every little like cell phone game, like bullshit, like offshoot Pokemon game has always got like battle in the title. It's like, check it out, it's a battle. Pokemon Battle, right? Um, the ba Pokemon Battle Tower is available worldwide right now, uh, today. Uh, and this one is like a really, uh, this is made by um, Bombay Play. I've never heard of them. I guess they develop Facebook games. I don't really know. Uh, I don't know what the game looks like. I haven't looked at gameplay of it, but I didn't read about it. And it is a game where you stack Pokemon on top of each other to see who can make the tallest tower of Pokemon. And it's like catch new Pokemon and train them and evolve them to get new strategies into stacking your tower. I'm like, what? You want, <laughs> so like, I don't know how many Pokemon are involved here. If like, it's like a team of six and you're like, this is how I stacked my Pokemon taller than your tower, I win. It sounds outrageously terrible. I don't know, who, who likes Facebook games anyways? Like, I remember like there was like some farming game back in the day and like a pool game back in the day. This is like a decade ago that I, that I heard about people playing Facebook games. So I don't know what the deal is with this, but this sounds like some like reskin like flash game. Like Bombay play, if they had a game before where you stack stuff to win, and they just reskinned it for Pokemon, I would not be surprised at all. Cause this sounds terrible. Like, how do you look at Pokemon as like a concept of like, oh, you catch these creatures, you train them, you evolve them, they battle, blah, blah, blah. And you go, you know what? Let's stack them on top of each other and see how tall we can make it. I don't know how, where, like, where does this come from? That's not Pokemon by any stretch of the imagination. Stacking your Pokemon on top of each other, Charizard's just like, yep, I got you, man. And then like Snorlax is on the bottom. I don't know. Sounds like a mess, sounds ridiculous. No one's gonna play it, right? I mean, it's on Facebook. Uh, it's a Facebook game, so like, I, I I don't know who's gonna play this, but God bless your heart if you do, and if you like it, love it. There you go. Uh, let me know in the comments. So Shane, you know what? I cannot believe you're gonna talk bad about Pokemon Tower Battle. That is a great game. Bombay Play does not play around. They're the best developers in the world. Sorry to you, Timmy, uh, but I'm not buying it. The other game is Pokemon Medall Medallion Battle, which actually seems like a much better game, but it's only available in the Asia Pacific region uh, for some reason, I don't know why. But uh, it says it's a digital card battle strategy game, but the picture I saw for it was them on like Pogs. Like I don't even know, remember back in the day, Pokemon had like, these little coins where like you spin them and like they do an attack or like uh, you could paralyze somebody. They're weird little metal coins, look them up, Pokemon Metal coins i don't know they look like pogs kind of but they're really cool it reminded me of that i didn't i don't see a card game i don't remember cards being little circles when since when are cards little circles cards are rectangles let's get it together guys uh but this game is developed by gc turbo and uh you it actually has gems apparently there's like a story you go through where you battle gems and everything and you can complete the pokedex uh and you you know catch pokemon trade them battle them level them up evolve them the whole thing and i was like okay well that sounds like an actual pokemon game they took the premise of pokemon and actually did something that makes sense not just stacking them on stacking them on top of each other to see who can make the tallest pile of pokemon i don't know like how did pokemon look at that and go Thank you so much. This is exactly what we needed for Facebook. Great. Uh, but anyways, the other Pokemon Medallion Battle gets a new po gets new Pokemon introduced every month. So they're going to be like, ooh, we're going to support it. I don't know, who, like, again, who's going to be playing this game? It's on Facebook. I doubt this support is going to last through until we get all over 1,000 pokes. I'm sure they're going to drop support before then and go, no one's playing. We got to do something else. Sorry, guys. Uh, we got to put our resources other places. But anyways. The CEO of Pokemon said that Facebook will allow people from all over the world to experience Pokemon and that they were very excited about working with Facebook. And I'm like, no, you're just lying because Facebook probably came to you with a huge pile of money. And they said, guys, you want to put, can you make a Pokemon game for Facebook? And Pokemon said, absolutely we can. We will dump some garbage on your platform for that, in, for that gigantic stack of money. Thank you very much. 
and that's just what they did. I don't. Pokemon's got to lie, obviously, and say like, "Yeah, we're really excited. These games are awesome. Can't wait for you to get your hands on them across the world." It's like, how are cell phone games not accessible around the world? Why is why is Facebook? You still have to be on the internet to play Facebook games, right? You still have to have a computer to play Facebook games. So I don't understand how Facebook makes it more accessible to the entire world. Like, I don't get that. He's like, now everyone can play Pokemon. It's like, what? But wasn't Pokemon already everywhere anyways? I don't know. The whole thing is funny, and it's just clearly Pokemon and Facebook uh, exchanging a lot. It, Facebook giving Pokemon a lot of money for a pile of garbage is what is, is happening, essentially. Happening, essentially. Because uh, it's Facebook games. Like I said, it's a joke. It's a meme. No one plays Facebook games. Sorry, uh, Facebook. It's not happening. But congrats to Pokemon for getting a large lump sum of cash which i'm sure you did or maybe you're gonna get installment payments i don't know they're making a lot of money pokemon knows what they're doing money wise right biggest franchise media franchise in the world they know what they're doing okay so just let them crank out some garbage for some money like they like to do these days so salute to you pokemon i still love you i still love you but i'm upset at you and this was uh incredible actually when i saw this i was like what really uh, a 3D, the, th the 3DS, specifically the new 3DS, this is a, an exclusive game coming to the new 3DS. You can only play it on the new 3DS, No, not coming anywhere else. Uh, it's a, uh, a survival horror game called Silver Falls 3 Down Stars. Uh, and I watched the trailer for it and the graphics were just like, it looked really rough and unpolished. But it did look interesting and fun. Actually, it really did. Uh, it reminded me of like, it had, it had a lot of uh, Silent Hill vibes. It had like fog and everything. And a mountain with like the little street sign that's saying like Silver Falls. And I'm like, dude, that's like straight up Silent Hill. Like just straight up from Silent Hill. Also Resident Evil vibes, you know, low ammo. You know, any encounter is like dangerous. That type of situation where you're like, oh man, I've only got two slugs for my shotgun. What am I going to do? That kind of situation. It had an upgrading system on like a chessboard. It looked pretty cool. It really did. Uh, like I said, a little unpolished, but uh, it's, you know, whatever. It's a 3DS game. It can't look that amazing. But Resident Evil Revelations did look pretty damn good. So, you know, I don't know about that. But it's from a, it's from a random developer. I don't, even, I don't even know if I have the name down here. Let me see. I did not write down the name of the developers. Oops, sorry. But they also said that they are bringing more, two more exclusive 3DS games in the coming months. So I'm assuming they're going to be like sequels or some kind of relation to this horror game. They're just going to use the same engine and just crank out some stuff or they already have some stuff in the works and it's just like, I don't know what the deal is, but in a few, in like a couple months, they're going to release three games. They're just like, boom, boom, boom. I can't imagine how, how quality the other two games are. We'll have to see about this current game because the only, in the trailer, it only showed like this campsite, like them walking around the campsite and like a quick little shot of them in the woods and then a shot of them on the road. It didn't show anything that interesting, honestly. But uh, what I saw and what I heard about it, I was like, okay, this could be fun. Uh, I'd have to expand and say, oh, we're going to some creepy buildings, some creepy hallways, ooh, the haunted hospital, oh my God, that type of stuff. Classic survival horror stuff. I, th I think it's gonna be in there. We'll have to see. Maybe it doesn't look that good and they didn't wanna show it off. I don't know, but hey, uh, my hopes are higher than they should be for this game, right? It's weird that for some reason they're like, you know what? Let's do this on the 3DS, only the 3DS. Maybe it, it's because like, oh, it's got a big install base. Uh, no one's making games for it. We're not going to have any competition on the 3DS. Uh, who knows what their ideas or, you know, logic was behind this. Uh, but it was announced in 2018, so it's, you know, still relatively new. It's coming out on December 26th. The day after th uh, Christmas, obviously Thanksgiving. The day after Christmas in North America. So be on the lookout for that. But it's super gave off the Resident Evil and Silent Hill vibes. So there you go. Uh, this is probably going to be a rare and expensive game because it's like the it's the ass end of the 3DS life cycle. Not not from the beginning, obviously. It's going to be forty dollars or whatever the fuck the price is going to be. Uh, but eventually down the line, they're going to be like, oh my god, you've got silver. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, you've got Silver Falls three down stars. Oh my god, that's crazy. Uh, I'd imagine it's not going to have that big of a print run. Like I said, it's at the end of the 3DS's life cycle. We got the Switch. We're well into the Switch. No one really cares about the 3DS anymore. So I think maybe if you're a collector, you might want to grab two copies and keep one sealed. And you go, ooh, look, I got my Silver Ball sealed. And you can show it off and uh, everyone can get a boner looking at your collection. So there you go. Look forward to new 3DS games for some reason. Wow. And Shigeru Miyamoto is beloved in gaming, even if you're not a Nintendo fan, everybody knows and adores Shigeru Miyamoto. Don't tell me you don't, because you're lying if you say that. He created Mario and Zelda. He is responsible for millions of people's fond childhood memories, literally. Like this, like he's a genius, right? Uh, video game wise, he is. Don't, don't you say he's not. 
Uh, he maybe has lost his touch a little bit l lately, but hey, you know what? Look what he's done! And he's old now. Give him a break. Uh, but apparently he was honored as an honorary citizen of Nantan City, Kyoto Prefecture. One of only four people to be honored in the city. They're like, this guy is honorable. We like this guy. He's awesome. I guess. I don't know what. I didn't see any much more than that. That just he's an honorary citizen. Like there's like, there's like, there you go. He goes in like the gas station. And they're like, whoa, Miyamoto is here. And everybody's like, there he is. Which maybe that happens anyways. I don't know. If I saw Miyamoto, I'd clap. Um, but, uh. It, it was uh, it was for specifically for leading uh, development at Nintendo, leading game development at Nintendo was why they they honored him. He's honored there now. But also in October, I didn't know this, uh, he was recognized as a person of cultural merit in Japan. So in, I guess in all of Japan, they were like, this guy is a fucking badass. And uh, what that mean, what they uh, why they honor these people in that way is for outstanding contributions to Japan's culture. And I'm like. Obviously, that's Miyamoto. How has he not been inducted to this sooner? Because he created Mario. Literally go anywhere in Japan, you're gonna see Mario. This guy created it. How was he just now getting honored? Well, who dropped the ball here? I don't know who else has been honored by this uh, samurais. I, you know, I don't know. Who else has had such a huge impact on Japanese culture? I don't think there's anyone as big as Miyamoto, right? Like as far as an impact on Japanese culture, maybe some kind of like the guy who, Akira Toriyama, he probably is in there or something like that. Like, I don't know, somebody like that, but he's up there. He's top tier. He's S tier, easy. Uh, so congratulations, Miyamoto. Like I said, I love you. We love you. Everyone loves you. God damn it. You're a, you're a worldwide treasure. I was going to say a national treasure, but you're a worldwide treasure. You're more than a national treasure. Uh, so I hope you live forever, and I hope you give us a million more great games. Please! If you want to look like this badass on screen right here, hit up our merch store at fbgamecrew.bigcartel.com. We got shirts, mugs, stickers, all that fun stuff. Christmas is right tomorrow, basically. Uh, so hit it up and get one rush delivery. I don't know if that's even possible. But anyways, uh, if you want to support the channel but you don't want to buy merch, uh, hit up our Patreon, patreon.com slash fbgamecrew. Uh, all our current patrons are amazing. Everyone buys merch are amazing. All of you are amazing. Links to all that in the description and my channel and Cam's personal channel. We also have a bit shoot and a flare. Go check those out. Uh, and I'll see you later. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. <laughs> That's a deep dish.